This book is called The Five Senses Hearing. It's by Maria Ruiz, J.M. Paramon, and J.J. Puig. Listen, can you hear that sound? Listen to the bells ringing. Listen to the children singing. And the sound of music. And the song of the birds. And the whistling of the train. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Can you hear that noise? It's the sound of the waves. Can you hear this noise? It's dogs barking. Wee-oo! Listen to your echo. Yelling sounds terrible. A nice low voice sounds much much better. Now listen carefully. Everything that you hear, you hear with your ears. Hearing. This is the way your ears work. Your ears act almost like telephones that send sound messages to your brain. When something makes a noise or when someone talks, the air begins to vibrate or move in waves. These are called sound waves. If the sound is low, the sound waves are long. These sound waves travel through the air until they reach your outer ear. Once the waves start moving down your ear canal, all kinds of things begin moving. First, the sound waves strike the eardrum, which starts to vibrate. These vibrations jiggle the hammer, which then jiggles the anvil, which then jiggles the stirrup. The hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup are tiny little bones in your middle ear. The stirrup then starts the cochlea jiggling. The cochlea is just like a shell. The name means cockle shell. That's filled with liquid. The liquid starts jiggling and that causes tiny hairs lining the cochlea to start jiggling too. These hairs then send a message to the auditory nerve right to your brain. Once your brain gets the sound message, it does its best to figure out what the sound means and what you should do about it. If you were a little mouse running across the floor and you heard the meow of a cat, your brain would figure it out then your brain would tell you what to do. Run! Your ear does one other thing. It helps you keep your balance. The part of your inner ear called the semicircular canals lets you know whether you are sitting or standing or lying down. If you spin around for too long, you can get your poor semicircular canals all confused. And that's called being dizzy. And that's the end of the five senses hearing.